Welcome back, Seth Blank here. Recently I've been working with Verizon to see what it would look like to extend their cell coverage into Minecraft, and it actually turned out pretty cool. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, first, if we want to connect to a cellular network, we're going to have to create a cellular phone. So here's the recipe for that. We've got a cell phone, and so now I will just drop this kind of pressing Q to drop it, and we've got our giant cell phone. Unfortunately, the screen is off, and that's because we don't have any cell coverage right now. So we'll have to craft a cell tower. Now to do that, we kind of do it like iron boots, but with redstone dust on top. That gives us a cell tower sapling. So let's go plant this cell tower sapling, and to make it go faster, we'll use some bone meal, and all these engineers come, and they start building a cell tower. They go pretty quickly. It looks pretty cool, though. And once the cell tower is done, we'll have service. We'll be able to do some really awesome things. Uh, I will point out there is some redstone dust in here. This is red. Oh, let me get it out of the way. This is redstone powered. Um, they're going to continue actually up, up, going upwards and continuing to build. Uh, but let's go ahead and flip it on and see if we can get some data coverage, cell coverage. There we go. And in fact, we do. We can see the there's data flowing between the phone and the cell tower, and we have coverage. Sweet. So, now that we've got coverage, we can do a couple things. First, let's try out the browser. So I'm going to enter a URL. Let's go to twitter.com slash sethbling, and it'll just take a couple seconds to load. We'll be able to see in the upper left-hand corner, here's my redstone dust logo, and you can read in great detail all my funny, hilarious, awe-inspiring posts Okay, it's Minecraft, so it's a little bit blocky, but uh, but it does work. This actually, this browser works for any website on the internet. It is a functional browser. Let's go to a different page. Let's try http colon slash slash sethbling.com. This is my own page. My page has my most recent video here and a bunch of blog posts that I haven't updated in a really, really long time down here. And uh, let's see, what we can scroll the browser. So if I, it's a little hard to see, but... If I scroll here, well, you can see that the, the video has scrolled a little bit off screen, and then we can scroll back up to get it back on screen. So, functional browser, pretty cool. And that's all in real time. Awesome. But I think the coolest thing you can do with this phone is a two-way video call. So, I've actually got a real phone in front of me here. Real phone. I'm going to use it to call my uh, in-game phone, and... There we go. So we've got the call incoming. And let me just come over here and answer it. Bam. Okay. And then I will hold this up to my face so you can see <laughs> my beautiful face in Minecraft blocks. And yeah, I mean, you can see as I move the phone around, it's picking it up in real time. Uh, now it's a two-way video call, so let me hold this up to the webcam. And you can see we've got my Minecraft character, too, as he looks around. It's... Uh, it's, it's uh, all happening in real time. Pretty sweet. Uh, maybe if I point it at the screen, I'll have some sort of infinite recursion thing going. I don't know. But <laughs> either way, uh, definitely really cool. But I'd like to demonstrate this whole thing by actually calling somebody else. So I've asked uh, Captain Sparkles if he would be on standby and let me demonstrate by calling him. So let me go ahead and click on Captain Sparkles. Give him a call. So hopefully he picks up pretty quick here. And so this will show that we're actually connecting to a real cell network. And oh, <laughs> hey, Jordan. What's up? How are you doing? I'm doing well. Cool. You might be blocky today. <laughs> I can see your face, so things seem to be working. Can you see me waving around some bone meal? I can. You'll cool. Look, you'll look pretty good today. Uh, well, where are you at right now, Jordan? I'm on my deck. Oh, cool. Can you show I'm us fine. the view? In, in the world. Ooh. <laughs> I can see some, some greenery down there. Cool. How's the weather? It's actually really nice. It's cooled off over the last couple of days. When right. It's been like 80 to 100 degrees over the last month, so it's fantastic. All right. Well, I just wanted to demonstrate this, this whole phone thing working, you know, over an actual call. So, um, yeah, thanks for helping me demonstrate that. Yeah, of course. All right. See ya. All right. Later. Oh, that's all. Oh, okay. He hung up. So Jordan lives like a thousand miles away from me. So, uh, so you know for sure that that's working. Uh, and there's one last thing that I want to demonstrate, and that is a stick and a phone. What does that make? It makes 
a selfie stick. So, uh, so I can take a selfie here and send it to my own phone. So let's, um, let's just send it to myself and it should appear in a moment on my cell phone. Oh, and there it is. So let me go ahead and open this up and I can show you the selfie. There we are in the background. In the background, there's kind of a, there's a cell tower. So let's see. Yep. It's right over there. And, oh, it's trying to take in their selfie. Anyway, so that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. Um, I want to thank Verizon. Basically, they did all the hard work. I kind of helped them out a little bit and told them some things that I thought would be cool. But but they really did pretty much all of this. And, in fact, they also documented everything. And so if you want to see how they did everything, uh, how they set all this up, there is a link in the video description that you can follow. And it just explains it all and how, how we made this all work. So... Uh, definitely check that out if you're interested. Otherwise, that's about it. Thanks for watching.